past hurts are painful, but happy is he who moves on. Forgetting the past and focusing on the future. Here are some reasons why you should stop dwelling in the past. You cannot change it. You can never change what happened in the past. So what is the use of dwelling in it? We go back to something only when we have the power to change it. But for the past, it is impossible. You cannot change what happened. You cannot change the mistake. The deed has been done and it cannot change. So it is very useless to dwell in your past failures. Mistake hurt and betrayal when you cannot do a thing to change it. Dwelling in the past does no good, but instead puts you in harm's way. When you keep dwelling in it, overthinking and reminiscing about it, it slowly kills your health and causes issues like stress, depression, insomnia, and makes you feel tired all the time. The agony the pain from past failures, the hurts kills you, and if it is not being taken care of, it will lead to your death. When you continue focusing on the past, it brings back all those negative feelings and thoughts. The past is full of our mistakes, pains, wounds. It brings back the pain of the wounds we previously had afresh. Do you choose to go down that road instead of moving on? You should move on from your past pains and failures and think of ways of doing things differently to get better results than you had in the past. You miss out on wonderful opportunities when you keep your eyes focused on the past. We miss out on wonderful opportunities coming our way. Reminiscing on the past that you refuse to let go hinders you from being happy and sometimes you miss out on your helpers when they come your way. You cannot attract people with an unpleasant mood. Everyone wants to be around people with positive energy. With that kind of expression, you push them away. Let go of the past. Open up to being happy again. Do not miss out on the wonderful opportunities ahead of you because wonderful opportunities do not come from the past but come from the future. Focusing on your failed relationship will never let you move on. Just because someone close to you, either your partner or a friend betrays you or walks away from your relationship, then you refuse to move on. You dwell in that hurt that feeling of betrayal and anger, that you do not want to open the door to your heart for any other person that comes your way. And maybe you get into a new relationship. You do not give him or her all of your trust because you think that person will also walk away as the others did. You leave no room for happiness in your heart because your heart is still fixed on your past relationship on that which failed and brought you pain. Do not live on your past failures, hurt and mistakes. Your past slows you down. You have the power to create what you want, what you need and how you want to live your life. So why waste it on something you cannot change? Why waste it on being angry and not letting go when the same person you are angry at has no idea how you feel or what you are passing through. Do not go through that road. Be happy with life. Roy T. Bennett noted, time does not heal emotional pain. You need to learn how to let go. If you want to be happy, do not dwell in the past. Do not worry about the future. Focus on living fully in the present. The Bible also talks about forgetting the past in the book of Isaiah 43, 18, 19. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Keep the past in the past. It should not define you. Instead, you should learn from the previous errors made to avoid a repetition. Ephesians 4, 31, 32 says, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, 
along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. Here are some ways to stop dwelling in the past, as Marian Williamson said. We do not heal the past by dwelling there. We heal the past by living. Not just living, but living fully in the present. Own your mistakes and grow from them when you realize that your past failures are due to a mistake you made. Do not dwell in it. Instead, grow from them. Accept the fact that you were the cause if you were. Move on and grow from it. Do not let it repeat itself. Know that better things await you in the future when you realize this. You will easily let go. When you know that your tomorrow will be greater than your today, you will run from your past failures, hurts, and betrayal. They do not control you, and you should see that yesterday is gone, and holding to it would hinder the greatness that comes with tomorrow. Honor yourself. Do not think little of yourself because you were betrayed or a loved one walked away from your relationship. Do not think you are not important or good enough. You sure are, and the earlier you understand this, the earlier you will be able to walk away and leave your past. Know that they left for a reason, and that someone better will come your way. Whatever happens was for a reason. It is either God never wanted that relationship for you, or that thing you have lost was never meant for you. Not every disappointment is a course. Some are blessings in disguise. Get inspired by others. If you think your past failures were your fault, get inspired by others. How did they tackle theirs? How did they make it through the guilt and pain? Read books that will inspire you. If you feel like you cannot do it, get yourself busy. Look for something to do or go out with friends to do things that will keep your mind off that. Focus on things that make you happy. Do this and see yourself moving on from the past hurts. Meditate on today. Change your thoughts. Think of today and what is ahead of you. If you want to walk out of the past and let go, change your thinking, your thoughts. Draw them out from negativity and place them on everything positive. Tell yourself that you can do this. You can let go and walk out of your past. Your past will not define you, but you will grow from them. Do not keep your gaze on the past, but focus on today and your future. Make sure you do not miss out on the beautiful opportunities coming your way. Chase after them and make good use of them. Get professional help if needed. When you think it is not possible, get professional help. Speak with a therapist to help you through what you are feeling. This will help you because they are in the best position to give you a solution. Do not wait and let that hurt drown you. Get help because it is important you come out of that pain. You cannot solve your problems in death. Get help from the right source and save yourself from every negative effect of not letting go. Express your hurt. Most people find it difficult getting over their past and letting go of their hurt, except they express it. What this means is that if you know that someone or somebody has hurt your feelings, rather than stay silent about it, you can talk it out with them and tell the person how you feel about their action. Sometimes they will not apologize, but you would get a sense of relief after spitting out your feelings. Stay away from a toxic relationship. When you want to walk away from your past, stay away from toxic relationships. Toxic people or friends stay away from things and people that brings negative energy around you. Always be in the midst of people that encourage you and have positive things to say. People that have your best interests at heart.